Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 1st of June 2021 and we hope everyone had an enjoyable and relaxing Memorial Day or bank holiday in the UK yesterday and for those who have gone back to work have not had a difficult time adjusting after hopefully an enjoyable weekend. Now we're going to do just a quick catch up of what has happened to gold and silver and the equity markets and to reveal to you something exciting we embarked on on the weekend. We opened an Etora account and purchased some cryptocurrencies. So let's take a look. Now, before we take a look at our little adventure, we can see that today gold prices are currently standing at $1,900, down $6 for the day, having been as high as 1916 and as low as 1892 Silver currently is down 16 cents at $27.89, having had a good run-up earlier today, as high as $28.57. It was going on a tear but it's now just standing at five cents above its day's low of 27.84. The dollar is up 0 0.06 at 89.89. And the US equity markets are very marginally in the black, while UK and European markets closed broadly up between half a percent and one percent. So broadly, all is quiet really, apart from that little bit of excitement earlier on with silver. But we wanted to share with you something we did this weekend, which, to be frank, is not like us at all. We've set up an account and traded cryptos. Yes, we purchased a number of positions in cryptocurrencies. And we shall show you what we paid and how much money we're making already in just one day. Or perhaps we should say how much we're losing in just one day. We've done this for a little bit of fun. But we've done it with real money, not a huge sum, but we've done it with real money because then, of course, decisions are made more seriously. And we've embarked on this little project because we heard all of the influencers saying that cryptos were going to crash over the weekend. And on Saturday, they did actually fall. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the account up and running and authorized until Sunday, by which time they started to improve. And so we made some purchases on Sunday and some yesterday. And we'll just have a look now, just for the next five or six minutes, at what we've purchased and where they're currently standing. A little bit of fun, and we hope you enjoy it. Well, here we are. Illuminati Silver has now gone crypto. Or more importantly, we've undertaken a bit of gambling. We're on our eToro site. And as you can see at the bottom here, we have $1,947 available. We have spent $880. At the moment, we're losing $8. And the equity is 2,819. What well, that means is that's the value of this plus this. Now, basically, we set this up over the weekend and we have only purchased some cryptocurrencies at the moment. And if you're interested to know what we were looking at and then what we bought, if I click on our crypto list, you can see at the top Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Ripple, Dash, Litecoin, Binance or Binance Coin, Dogecoin, Cardano, Uniswap, Chainlink, and Tezos. And this is what all the youngsters are buying at the moment. And in the case of the top two or three, the more serious investors. And today it's been a pretty awful day. You can see it's been a pretty awful day with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 11 cryptocurrencies that we are watching 
actually being down. Having said that, they've been considerably up in the past. So, for example, if you wanted to buy some Bitcoin at the moment, it would cost you $36,000. And if you tried to sell it, it would be $35,000. Now, with eToro, you're not technically buying the coin, you're buying an instrument based on the price of the coin. And then when you sell, and then you close your deal, so you sell it and you get the cash difference. I'm doing this because I don't have to then have a crypto wallet and all the security implications attached to that. So if we look at what we actually purchased just for fun, and we're doing this really for fun, recently invested, as we say, invested over the weekend, we can see here that Dogecoin, we're actually, click on Dogecoin, we are making a magnificent $5.68 profit in two days. We invested $190 and we can see its value now is 195, which is quite good, bearing in mind there is a spread between the purchase price and the selling price. And you can see it here. It's not a huge spread, but if you wanted to buy, it'd be 33 cents. And if you wanted to sell, it'd be 32. Link. Now this one is our worst performer, I think. And we are down $12 with Link. We invested 290 and it's worth 277. That's Chainlink. Ripple. I think if I recall, we bought that one today. Or if it wasn't today, it was yesterday. And Ripple, basically we're down $2.32. The current price is $1.977 and we actually bought it for one, just over $1. Tezos, let's click on that. And we're up $1.40. I'll run through these now. Cardano, we're down just 55 cents. So I'm happy with that because if I wanted to buy it now, it'll cost more. And Litecoin, we're down $2.86. We paid, we paid uh, 181 and it's now currently, the center price is 176. So that's down slightly. So our portfolio while we're talking is down $11. If you added up the number of transactions, which are seven because we bought Dogecoin twice, to be down $10, that's the equivalent of our charges, I suppose. So it's not too bad. Uh, looking at, which we can do, gold and silver, we can see immediately here, gold is trading at 1900. Silver at 27.89, both of them down on the day. Platinum, funnily enough, 1,200 to buy. Palladium, 2,873. These two metals have risen. And copper is down. I'm watching copper. I've not been tempted really to buy copper. But that said, um, it's worth watching because it has ramifications for metals in general. And you can see here on the right-hand side, you have sentiment. And this is to do with the Torah customers. 84% of the, those involved in gold today are buying. 91 are buying silver. 94% are buying platinum. 88% palladium. And 92 copper. That's it. Just wanted to show you this magnificent investment portfolio. I think off the top of my head, it was £1,500 or two and a half or $2,800, whatever it worked out at, or £2,000, $2,800. And at the moment, we're just losing $5. At our peak, when I saw it earlier, we were up $22. We'll periodically look at this for fun, just to see where it goes. Whether Illuminati Silver become multi-millionaires for their massive $100 or $200 investment, we shall wait and see. We doubt it because we've come into these quite late in the day. So there we have it. A small loss, but a manageable one so far. What do you think of our choice of investments? Forget how much we put in, but what do you think of the choice of cryptocurrencies? Do share your thoughts below. We'll go back to gold and silver later in the week, of course. But we wanted to just have a look at this alternative investment class. And what is quite surprising is the number of people still 
heavily investing in cryptos, even though prices have gone up 100%, 500%, 1000% or even more in some cases. It's an interesting asset class. How long this boom will continue, who knows? Has it started now to seriously decline or is this just a little bit of consolidation? We shall wait and see. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel, not forgetting to press the bell sign so you're notified of our videos as and when they are published. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank you.